Hi. Welcome to Life Strategy with Nat. Oh my goodness. What a way to start. <laughs> Gotta love the lives, right? Okay, so let's start again. Hey, and welcome to Life Strategy with, Life Strategies with Nat for the Entrepreneurial Woman. We're here every week talking about strategies that help you create a life and a business that you absolutely love without the overwhelm and the confusion and all the other fun stuff that goes along with it. We're all about taking a holistic approach. So um, what I'm going to say today is that we have, sorry, as I'm just getting started, you guys know the drill probably by now. And as you're logging in, um, let me know you're here by saying hello or give me a hashtag live. Let me know where you're calling in from as well. Always love to see where everyone is in the world. Um, and yeah, so I've got a very special guest. Her name is Charlotte. And I'm just going to wait for her to come on. But <clears throat> Charlotte is the founder of the App Creator Program. We met in a mentorship program, actually, her and I. And uh, we also went on a retreat together. And when I heard her story, I was like, wow, you, I, I need to have you on the show because there are so many people that I talk to that would love or have at some point had an idea for an app. And Charlotte has an incredible experience on this. So let me just see if she's here. Um, I don't see her yet, but that's okay. Well, um, I'm just going to keep hanging out. I tagged her and everything. Um, oh my goodness. This is, my tripod is just being ridiculous today. Anyway, so um, what's happening, team? I... I know that um, I know that I've certainly had some ideas for apps, um, but curious. Just while we're waiting, um, maybe you want to actually drop any app ideas that you have. Is that would you want to do that? <laughs> um, if you do, then awesome. But if not, that's cool too. Um, I know I have a couple ideas, so I'm really curious to, um, ask Charlotte about it, but, um, so if you're just joining in, we're just waiting for Charlotte, our lovely guest speaker to join us. Um, she's the founder of the app creator program, and <clears throat> I believe she has about five apps already on iTunes, the, in the app store. I was about to say iTunes, I'm like, no, that's not right. Um, on the app store and yeah, she's, she's phenomenal. Um, I'm just trying to see, I'm just trying to see where she is. Um, anyway, it's okay. We'll wait. So tell me guys, what's, what's been happening? I hope you guys have a coffee with you. Can I tell you, I've been <clears throat> super busy creating some new courses and they're in my teachable area, which I might actually share the link soon. I wasn't going to, wasn't going to release it, but it's kind of, um, I've got it out there just to collect some feedback right now. And, uh, that's that. So let me see if she's here yet. She's not here yet, <clears throat> but that's okay. We're still going to wait for her. If you guys have any questions for me while I'm here, I mean, why not? Why not? Let's um, maximize our time because I know that your time is precious. And um, the other thing that, of course, is coming down, and there are still a few spots left for September um, for, the, for the mentorship group, for my mentorship group. So if that is something that's of interest to you, let me know. Um, I wasn't really going to mention that, but since I was waiting... Let's see. Come on, Charlotte. <gasps> anyway, it's the, it's the beauty of Facebook Lives. So if you are a coach, if you are um, an entrepreneur that's watching, because I can't really see who's watching, unfortunately, sometimes, but let us know what you do and, and what made you join us today and 
all sorts of fun stuff. Like I just, I love when, um, I love when these sessions are really interactive and if there are questions that you have for Charlotte, for example, um, <clears throat> because her whole thing is that you don't need a lot of tech to, to do, to make an app. Um, and you know, when I remember when I was talking to her and there was all this stuff about, I just really thought it was a lot more complicated and I thought that it was really going to be quite expensive. So she's, excuse me, she's going to talk to us about that. And I know that, I know that apps can get really expensive. My God, I think this almost fell again. Um, but it's about, um, designing it in such a way, <clears throat> um, you know, in my previous career, I was in business solutions and I got to learn a lot about user experience. So user experience in the sense that whatever you build, it has to be what your people want. <laughs> you have to kind of design it. Like if you think about yourself on an app, um, I just checked to see if she was here. But if you think about yourself on an app, um, and Charlotte, just as a reminder, you need to be on your, on your iPhone, um, cause it won't work if you're on desktop, but just in case, but anyway, um, so picture yourself when you're using an app, like how you want buttons in certain places and you want certain functionality. Hey Nick. Um, if you're just logging, if you're just tuning in, I'm just waiting for Charlotte to come on. Who's our guest expert. I hope she's okay. And that she is finding us okay. But I'm just trying to fill in um, because I know I've had an idea for an app and I've talked to Charlotte about it. Um, but it really is amazing how you don't need that much. You don't need tech at all. Like you don't need that. And, I, and I'm going to let her speak to it. But um, if when you're so I was just saying um, when you're using an app yourself, like you want to make sure that it's something that you want, that you'll use, <clears throat> something that's user friendly, something that, um, is intuitive, right? Oh, Charlotte, I'm just seeing how come I can't, she's there. I can see her. Um, Charlotte, for some reason I can't invite you. Why is that? I see you watching. Ooh, now I can add you. Okay, I'm adding. There she is. Okay, so she's going to pop in now. Sorry, guys. But again, beauty of Facebook Lives, something that you always have to enjoy and run with, right? <laughs> so I'm just adding her now. Um, Hello. There she is. <laughs> I was like, why can't I go on? Oh, so I'll I'm move so myself. sorry, Charlotte. I hope that I didn't butcher anything because I was like, oh, Oh, I'm just going to talk about apps. <laughs> I know. I just thought I was waiting. I was thinking, oh, she's going to invite me in a minute. I didn't realize that I'd been invited. Anyway, hello. Oh, I'm yeah, here. that's okay. Yay, Charlotte's here. <laughs> so this is the Char this is the Charlotte that I was telling everyone about. <laughs> just telling you all about. Hello. Um, so Charlotte, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, but I was just saying to everyone, um, you know, that y you don't need tech to do an app and I know that you're no. going to tell us all about it. And so for anyone watching, if you guys have questions, this is your, this is your time to shine because, and, and if you are watching on replay, like let us know too, and we'll, we'll, we'll continue to answer your questions, but tell us about you and how you kind of came across or came to develop the app creator program I'm so excited <laughs> hello okay thanks Natalia so lovely to be here yeah so um basically I was pregnant with my um second child and I wanted to use hypnobirthing and so I went to the app store and there were no apps on the app store for hypnobirthing, which to me as a pregnant woman, I was like, that is crazy. Um, so uh, I decided to create an app. Now, I don't have any technical knowledge. I have no technical. Well, I have no technical experience. I'm not a coder. Um, um, but I thought to myself, I'm sure I can do this. Like I'd, know, I'd known people that had created apps and, uh, you know, I, ha I sort of had worked in marketing um, so I found a, so I put together what I wanted in the app. So I put together, that I wanted, you know, some audio, some content. Um, and then I found a developer 
and um, I got them to create it. Um, and I also uh, I sort of asked a friend, yeah, I asked a friend to help because obviously it was hypnobirthing and she was hypnobirthing trained. So I got her to record the audio. So she worked with me on that. Um, and yeah, I think that, you know, the thing with apps and the thing with tech is that we're all very fearful of it. But actually, um, it's not that scary. Um, and anybody can create an app. You really don't need any tech experience at all, Natalia. Like, you know, anybody can do it. As long as you have a good idea and, um, yeah, you can bring that idea to life and you can put the content together, you can create an app. That's amazing. And I love how resourceful you you just said, this is a gap. This is what I need. And then let me just bring in the people. Let me plan it out. And that's that. Like, is it really that simple? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I mean, it took, it, took, it took six months. So okay. it wasn't, you know, it took six months to put, you know, from idea right through mm -hmm. to, you know, live on the App Store. In fairness, I did have a baby in that time. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sure other people it might take them a little bit, you know, not more so long. <laughs> um, but it was, you know, it was a very, very simple app, uh, you know, initially. It was, you know, it didn't look great. Like to save on money, I just did the design myself. I got stock yeah. photo. I got my developers to put the icons on. Um, you know, it didn't look great. However, it sold, you know, it was, it was, as you say, it was feeding a need. People needed this. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that, that also goes back to um, women in tech as well and how the lack of women yeah. reflects is reflected in the, in the apps and, and when reflected in all tech. You know, why was there a gap in the market when we had thousands and thousands of apps on the app store? Because there 100%. are less women in tech. Yeah, yeah. And that must be really rewarding for you to be able to, to serve that audience. Like, is it, do you find that you work mostly with women or do you work mostly... Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, so, so, uh, so when I, so f when I obviously did the app, I then started working with some companies de developing apps for them. And that was obviously for men and women. Um, and now, um, yeah, I mean, I work with men and women. I mean, I'm targeting women slightly more um, just because it's an area I feel really passionate about because I think that as women, we're a bit more fearful of stepping into the unknown. And, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like, I would like to help um, people with that because I think that, you know, anything that, that appears scary can, is less scary when you have a, night, a helping hand. Yeah. And so I guess that's, that's where you come in, right? Because you mm -hmm. help people, I guess, flush out the idea and sort of design it in a way that is going to be user friendly, that kind of meets mm -hmm. their budget, those kinds of things. Yeah. So, I mean, I learned a lot. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the easiest thing to go out and do it on your own. You know, I mean, you know, if, if you have an app idea, um, it's worth speaking to someone, you know, so I can help, you know, I can definitely help people with that. Um, and yes, exactly. It's looking at, you know, your budget and what, you know, especially the gap in the market as well. You know, is there a gap in the market? Have you researched it? I wouldn't just work with anybody um, because often someone might have an idea and maybe it's already out there. Someone came to me the other day with a, uh, you know, a scheduling app and I said to them, oh, there are lots of scheduling apps out there. Unless yours is going to be absolutely amazing. You know, what is it offering that people don't have, you know, that, that we can't get already? Um, and she wasn't sure. So I sort of said, maybe there's another idea that you could think of, maybe sort of have a think about that instead um, because what I really want is for people to make apps that help others and you know help others on the one hand and that people can make money from you know that that's the point isn't it yeah I mean let's let's get real here I mean <laughs> if we're talking about entrepreneurial women and we're talking about life strategies financial freedom is definitely yeah. a huge slice of that bucket and yeah. the thing that I love, and I know that we talk about it a lot, is building multiple income streams as a means mm -hmm. to, you know, fulfill your portfolio. And that is a strategy. That is a life strategy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's amazing that you're able to bring that to, to market and say, listen, if, if you want to create an app, I'm not going to, like, maybe it doesn't make you millions, or maybe it mm -hmm. does, but then it's mm -hmm. like, 
it's still going to be the, a nice compliment to your portfolio or even to your mm. business, right? Mm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, you know, that app has made over 50,000 pounds. I've now got five apps on the app store. Um, you know, apps wow. can bring in passive income. They don't, you know, that, that, that has been over a few years. So, um, you know, I have, other sources of income as well but it's you know it's significant it's, it makes a significant amount of money and 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 I do nothing to to you know for that it is really the most passive income you could imagine it, it is like yeah you know, like right yeah it's like writing a book and you know obviously once you have to update it and there are things you have to do but they're they're not it it's easy it's so easy to keep that app going so if you were to kind of say maybe like <clears throat> top three or three things that maybe you're thinking about as someone who has an idea for an app, but you're not mm -hmm. quite sure next steps, what to do. Like, mm -hmm. what, what would you say kind of maybe were, are your like top three tips or mm -hmm. like, here's what you should think about when you're thinking about mm -hmm. the app so that you don't kind of spin, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So number one is the idea. Like, you know, if I think about the iHypnoBirth apps, they're really, really simple. You know, it's iHypnoBirthing yeah. for women. It's very, very easy. But someone might have a more complicated app that they would like to, you know, develop. And then it was thinking about what, what as you said, actually, rightly, I heard you saying about the user journey, you know, what does your ideal client, what does your user want and need? Mm -hmm. um, and certainly researching it because, you know, uh, someone once said to me who, who has some successful apps, she said, you know, either be the best or be the first. Um, now, mm -hmm. you don't have to be the first. You certainly don't. But you, and you don't have to be the best in terms of spending the most money, but there might be some apps you know that they don't offer a great user experience. There could be something that's missing in them that you could then um, step forward and, and create. Um, so definitely the first thing is the idea. So think about that idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously, yes, research that idea that, you know, research, see what else is out there. Because what you don't want to do is get halfway into your app and then realize that there's one that's fantastic. And, you know, you're then, yeah. you know, you're then stuck <laughs> with, you know, something that's maybe not as good. Um, and then, you know, obviously look, uh, look at your market and, and, and think about who, who would be interested in, in, in the app that you're trying to sell. Um, so I would think that would be a good place to start for anybody yeah. thinking about creating an app. It's, you know, it's much like a business, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I guess, you know, you have the vision, you have, you know, what do you want it to do? And, and then you kind of map it out um, accordingly. <laughs> I know that's a very simplistic way of saying it. Because we all know that it's way more than that. <laughs> but it's basically um, and that. then... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just a little one, two, three. <laughs> and um, what are some things that you think come up? Like, let's say you've got the idea, you've, you've done the research. What are some things that can come up along the way that maybe, like, I'm thinking about, like, overwhelm, you know, maybe you mm. have imposter syndrome mm. that comes up. Like, is there yeah. stuff that you find comes up a lot along the way? <laughs> That's mm. just good to be self-aware of. I think that I think with any like with any business and this is what you'll know a lot about and this is definitely your area of expertise um not mine but with any any business I think it's that fear and you know that that sort of um you know oh gosh should I do this should I do this because that's the main thing like I've had people tell me about amazing apps that they absolutely should develop and they haven't because they are fearful um, you know, and not necessarily just fearful of tech, but fearful of, of stepping into the unknown. Um, and so I think it's mindset, you know, overcoming that fearful mindset and, and, and just, you know, going for it. And I, I kind of think that that's in life as well. No guts, no glory, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. That's it. You summed it up so well. I spoke, I rambled on for two minutes and you're like, no guts, no glory. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, oh my God, you know. Funny. But that's, I mean, you know, but that's what you help people with. And I think that actually that's so important, you know. Um, I think, you know, when you have a coach to guide you through something, you know, you're more likely to succeed. Yeah. Well, you, you, you and I both 
I mean, I'm very uh, 100% agree with that. Um, and that's why I think what well, we've both invested in ourselves and coaches and it's something that I'll continue to do. But um, thank you for that compliment. That was very nice. Um, <laughs> if, um, <laughs> if people wanted to get more, like if, 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 if anyone's listening right now and they're like, I have this great idea for an app. I've sort of done my mm -hmm. research. I'm ready to go. I want to work with mm -hmm. Charlotte like right now. How, does how do people get a hold of you? What's the best way? Yeah, so obviously we're on Facebook now. So I've got a Facebook page, but they can contact me. They can, you know, friend me on Facebook. I've got a website, the App Creator Program. Um, I'm also on LinkedIn. So, um, yeah, so any of those places, just, um, yeah, just contact me and I will be happy to chat through your app idea with you. Amazing. <laughs> and I thank you so much for coming on today. Was there anything that you wanted to leave everyone with? or mm. that we didn't get a chance to maybe talk about um, that you kind of wanted to touch on? Yeah, no, well, not really. Just, just to say that, you know, we are progressing into a more, you know, tech is becoming so important. And I just think it's, you know, part of everybody's lives. And um, for me, I'm so passionate about it. So uh, if anybody has any questions or would like to know more, please get in touch. But um, yeah, just if you have a great app idea, just follow through with it just you know if you really think it's great and you know there's a niche and you know there's a need for it just do it I think I'm calling you after <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it <laughs> oh my gosh okay well that was that was amazing and um if anyone is watching on replay like I know a few people joined throughout like Sandy Teresa Florian it's amazing to have you guys here and um, if you do have questions after, you can also post uh, on this video and Charlotte and I will make sure that we've got your questions answered. And Charlotte, if you wouldn't mind putting a link to your like Facebook or your website yeah. below, that would be awesome. That way, cool. Um, cool. if anyone um, wants some help in terms of like creating an app with zero tech needed like i mean i don't know it's, <laughs> it just sounds great i'm excited for you <laughs> and excited for everyone else too to you know just do it mm. um so thank you again and wishing everyone a wonderful rest of the day and we'll talk to you all soon thank you so much natalia bye, bye. <laughs>